local news around the clock. News 25. Organized crime, no taxes. Illinois' number one news channel, News 25. With Tom McIntyre, Anna Warner, Bill Houlihan's weather, and Lee Hall Sports. Now, News 25 Nightside. And good evening, everyone. An apartment complex fire in Los Angeles has killed seven people. Five of those victims' children caught up in a blaze which swept through from apartment to apartment in Los Angeles. That three-story building in a heavily populated Hispanic Westlake district of the city. Fire officials still aren't sure how it started, but arson investigators are at the scene. Los Angeles Fire Chief says the fire probably started in one unit, then spread to the others. He said it spread quickly in some areas because fire doors had been left open. In the area where the doors were closed, it held the fire back remarkably well. Where the doors were open, the fire raced down the hallways. It took probably in excess of 200 feet of hallway, was at one point in time involved on both the second and third floor. As many as 25 people may have been injured. At one point, paramedics tried frantically to revive people in apparent cardiac arrest. Others have been res uh, rushed to the hospitals. The fire was actually put out within an hour of the time it broke out. In LaPorte, Indiana, police have reportedly questioned the brother-in-law of a murdered teenager. Raina Rison's body was found last week more than a month after she had disappeared after work in LaPorte. Now the police chief says his department is calling in the FBI. Uh, we're going to see if they can help us uh, in determining who might be involved in this uh, with the profiling. The murdered girl's brother-in-law, Raymond McCarty, had been convicted of assaulting Ryson. He had been questioned three times by police so far, but no arrests. We're looking at everyone, relatives, friends, anybody close to Miss Ryson uh, who have, might have had knowledge uh, the night she disappeared. Raina Ryson's body or funeral was held over the weekend. The mother of a murdered Illinois sailor says she'll be satisfied if her son's assailant is given life in prison. Alan Schindler was beaten to death in a Tokyo, Japan restroom, allegedly because he was a homosexual. Today, Airman Apprentice Terry Helvey admitted, admitted killing Schindler, an apparent attempt to avoid the death penalty. His mother says that suits her. I told the Navy, told the prosecuting attorney that I never wanted him put to death. I just want him put away. Dorothy Hages says she plans to go to Japan for the sentencing of Terry Helvey. Well, the air cargo freight business at the Peoria Airport is really taking off, and that's a boost for the local economy. Tonight marks the completion of the $2.5 million cargo center. With the added space, Peoria is now a hub for a growing industry. Fraser Angerman is at the cargo center where packages are now being loaded for overnight delivery. Fraser? Well, good evening, Anna. Even with 36,000 square feet of new cargo space, the air freight carriers are already talking about the need for additional room here. The activity that is taking place, proof that the air freight business is growing in Peoria. Last year was the best ever for the Peoria Airport. Officials say they will soon be adding even more space to the facility by moving the old cargo center next to this new one. All this good news for the local economy. I think Peoria is centrally located in downstate Illinois. We have runway facility that's 10,000 feet. It's the longest runway in downstate Illinois. Our access to the interstate makes it very convenient for the cargo to be moved to Peoria for uh, shipment to the, uh, the hubs where the freight is uh, sorted each night. And uh, I think that that's all, uh, that all plays into it. And now this is a big project for the Peoria Airport and it might be used as a lure to get an even bigger project here. We're talking about the Air Guard base that is scheduled to be moved out of Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Peoria officials have made a play for that project and they're hoping something like this can be used to lure that big project down to Peoria. Back to you. Thanks, Fraser. Fraser Angerman live at the Greater Peoria Airport. Mac? Ralph Nader and the National Insurance Consumer Organization are asking Americans to avoid buying from the State Farm and American International Group insurance companies. Nader says State Farm and AIG are refusing to write new homeowners policies in Florida and Louisiana following Hurricane Andrew. He claims those insurance companies are playing games and spreading consumer anxiety by pulling out of some areas. 
State Farm we've says that's not the case. Guidelines imposed in Florida, and basically all we're trying to do is, is limit our exposure around the country, especially hurricane-prone areas and other catastrophe uh, areas that have a lot of catastrophes, and uh, that's pretty much it. We have not pulled out of any markets and uh, don't have any plans to. State Farm paid out over $4.5 billion in claims as a result of Hurricane Andrew. A changing of the guard tonight in normal. For the first time in eight years, that community has a new mayor. Kent Carricker was sworn into office before this evening's meeting. He takes over for Paul Harmon, who served in public office for 21 years. Governor Jim Edgar declared tomorrow Paul M. Harmon Jr. Day, and Harmon gave his successor a lighthearted suggestion on how to keep city staff in line. Probably the most important thing I'm going to give you is the master key to City Hall. You can search offices with this key. <laughs> and, and, and that will get you into everywhere. Cheryl Gaines was also sworn in as the newest member of the town council. More news still to come for Bartonville and all of central Illinois. A record turnout at a workshop teaching parents to use positive discipline with their kids. And some of those baby lotions may not be gentle enough for infants. Hooley says rain, sun, sun, more rain. I enjoy learning from interesting people. It's what the Larry King Show is all about. Hi, I'm Larry King, and I've switched stations and schedules. Now tune to Talk Radio 102 for the Larry King Show, live every weekday from 2 to 5. You'll hear from prominent newsmakers and experts, and we'll open the phones for your calls. The Larry King Show, right after You Know Who, every weekday afternoon at 2 on Talk Radio 102 FM WTAZ. We know this is the time of the year people start thinking about buying cars and trucks. We're ready to do what it takes to sell the most Oldsmobiles, Cadillacs, and GMC trucks in the area. Here at Veldy Oldsmobile Cadillac GMC Truck, I've authorized the highest trade-in allowances with one of the largest selections of the year. Every customer will be completely satisfied with our selection, our service, and our price. I guarantee it. Tony and Teresa Torres have had their life insurance with American Family. When the children were born, we knew we needed to add more life insurance. The Torres family also has American Family auto and homeowners insurance. We just feel secure with American Family. Loyalty. The mark of satisfied customers. American Family In East Peoria, insurance. your American Family agent is Carolyn Austin Shoemake. In Bloomington, call Mike Owens. Earlier this evening, a lot of you may have watched the NBC movie Black Widow, the Blanche Taylor Moore story. That's based on a true story. Moore in 1990 was found guilty of poisoning to death a former boyfriend. While investigating that death, police found evidence linking Moore to the arsenic poisonings of her father, first husband, and the near-fatal poisoning of her second husband. I had known Blanche for a little over four years. I realize now that I was being poisoned and the, the uh, medical tests proved as much that I was being poisoned for at least six months prior to the near fatal episode. And for the record, Blanche Taylor Moore is still on death row in a North Carolina prison. Well, Oprah Winfrey is probably the best known talk show host in the country, but this week you get a chance to ask Oprah the questions. Mike Dimmick went to Oprah's studios in Chicago armed with some of the questions, including what would Oprah like to do on her last show? 
I don't know. I, you know, I will say this, we spent the longest amount of time trying to figure out what the first show would be. I'm telling you, when we went national in 1986, it was just, I mean, for three months, all we did was talk about what are we gonna do for that first show. We tried to bribe every celebrity. We sent bribe, meaning sending Don Johnson a new pair of sunglasses, and yeah, that was gonna do it. More of you ask Oprah tomorrow on Live at Five. Well, teaching kids discipline is often the most difficult task parents face. Today, a workshop helped out by showing parents how to use positive discipline. The Love a Child workshop is run by Elena Calloway, who owns a childhood consulting agency. A record turnout of 160 people attended the workshop. Calloway teaches parents to avoid negative action and punish in a positive way. I believe the first step to any kind of positive discipline is, first of all, knowing who you are because oftentimes we react based on our own problems and our own frustrations and our own anger and we react out of what's inside of us not what's going on with the child. A second workshop today focused on helping teenagers to build their self-esteem. Reverend Harvey Carey held that workshop at the Children's Home Academy today. All right, assumption, babies are usually soft and most of the time they smell good, most of the time. So you'd have to assume that all those baby lotion products help them stay that way. Not so, they can be helpful, harmful. Christine Zach has more on this week's Kids Nowadays. Babies sure smell good, and it's no wonder. Parents in the United States spend over $100 million each year on baby skin care products. But a recent study at Loyola University Medical Center found some of those over-the-counter skin care products for baby could be toxic. On the average, newborns are exposed to eight skin care products marked baby containing 48 chemicals. Some of those described in the Loyola study as toxic are benzyl alcohol, zinc oxide, propyl paraben, butylated hydroxytoluene, benzylconium chloride, and silicon dioxide, which is considered moderately to very toxic. And parents have this idea that when their baby's born, it's going to have perfect skin and peaches and cream complexion, but in reality, a lot of babies have very skin sensitive skin or very blotchy and, and have a lot of imperfections in the first year, from anywhere from cradle cap to baby acne to diaper dermatitis and and so that they try a, li a lot of different things and uh, many of them can be harmful. For most babies all they need is um, um, for skin care is just uh, water to, to clean them and maybe a gentle non-drying soap um, that needs to be washed off completely and that will um, keep their skin clean. As for the creams and lotions, experts suggest you read the labels and if you can't pronounce it or wouldn't drink it, it's probably not something you want to put on your baby's skin. Christine Zach, News 25 Nightside. Well, many of you are probably doing some spring cleaning and redecorating, but perhaps the biggest redecorating project in Peoria has just been completed and it's open to the public. It's the Peoria Symphony Guild's Mansion in May at Designer Show House. The house built by Murray Originally Baker in 1914 has been completely redecorated by nearly two dozen Murray designers. Baker, the gardens have also been brought back to their original the grandeur. The There's a fountain and area reminiscent of a European of formal garden. And tomorrow on Live at Five, we'll take you on a video tour of the house and gardens. But you can also walk through on your own. The house opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's open till 4. Admission is $7. And uh, hopefully it won't rain on anybody's parade tomorrow, but I get the oh, feeling. Oh, 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 don't I get don't the take any hope in that at all, because it's going to rain on a parade. <laughs> and if your parade is any time after midnight, it could be some heavy rain. I'm sorry about that, farm friends. Could even be uh, near an inch of rainfall here before it's all over tomorrow. We do expect it'll continue to rain tomorrow. The slow moving cold front, ever so slow moving cold front. And uh, Illinois temperatures are 58 to 62, the whole state right now. We have 62 degrees, one of the warmer temperatures, 93% humidity. Southeast winds 10 miles an hour, barometer 29 and 7,800 inches. It's been steady there since 6 o'clock. The allergy index is at 2. That's range washed some of the stuff out of the air. 159 particles for every cubic meter. We'll be back with the rest of it, including the close-up radar. Stay with me. This portion of News 25 Nightside is brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. Update your home with American Pride Siding from Menards. 
It never needs painting and comes with a lifetime warranty. White double five inch siding is just $3.59 per piece. Three in stock colors are just $3.99. Add a new look to your yard with patio blocks. 18 inch concrete brick face blocks are just $2.88 each. 12 inch aggregate patio blocks are just $1.99. Depend on Menards for all your home improvement needs. Save big money at Menards. At Hardy's, we think there's a small problem with Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Oh. It's much too short. So Hardy's is turning Mother's Day into Mother's Month with Mom's Meal. Eight pieces of Hardy's fried chicken made fresh. Just like Mom's. Four biscuits made from scratch. Just like Mom's. And any two large side dishes like our new bacon baked potato salad, all for only $8.99. Surprise! Happy Mother's Day! Now you can feed a family of four for only $8.99 all month long. Only a month? Only at Hardy's. need shop Dantone's greenhouse. Wes on Richwoods and follow the signs to a great greenhouse. Dantone's. Remember how great it was being a kid? Well, that kind of fun doesn't have to end. Just get behind the wheel of an Isuzu, and you'll develop a whole new perspective on driving. You'll find that fun and practicality can be one and the same. At Sheer Buick Pontiac Isuzu, we offer a terrific selection of Isuzus and sheer professionalism, like extensive product knowledge. A great deal on a great vehicle is what you'll get at Sheer Buick Pontiac Isuzu, Pekin Auto Row. With our satellite technology, we can take you almost any place in the world, just like that. Because the news could be happening halfway around the world. Or right in your backyard. Anna Warner, Mike Demick on Central Illinois' only early evening newscast, live at 5 from News 25, Central Illinois' news channel. 71 the high, 58 degrees the low. That's what we have right now, 59. It says there we're still 8 degrees above the normal, though. With the mean temperature around that 65 degree mark, no heating degree days and no cooling degree days today. And here it is, 58 and 62, Bloomington Normal and Peoria. And if you look all over the state, they're all in between that 60, 61, 59 over at Champaign. But 58 to 62 gets it all across the state. For the 3rd of May, records go to the last century, 1895. It was 92 degrees on this date. In 1911, it was 30 degrees. The satellite picture still shows some clear skies south and southwest of us. The low itself still hanging around here, and it just seems like it doesn't want to move out, and it's causing precipitation, of course, all around its center. They still have a couple of tornado watches out. Down here in Alabama, the severe thunderstorm watches are pretty well over there. There is one only here on the eastern slope of the Rockies moving into Colorado, but most of the precip is of north of us in our area and moving to the north northwest that means we're going to get some of it here it is on the close it's all around us here in peoria south of canton they have some fairly heavy stuff and they did over in iowa earlier the only thing they have now is uh, west of burlington here other than that just pretty light to moderate rain and we could as i say get as much as an inch and i'm sorry about that our farm friends don't really need that at all they can't get into the fields now they don't need any more. We're going to have two days without rain as we come up to Wednesday and Thursday. And then it looks as though a chance for it anyway on Friday and Saturday looking ahead. Pretty even temperatures across the entire central part of the country. 50s and 60s, occasionally a 70 and occasionally down here an 81, but that's way down in the desert southwest. Surface chart shows that we do have the low just to the south and west of us now. Warm front went up. We got to 71 today. It's cooled off right now and will continue to do so. In 24 hours, that low will move north of us, and we expect to clear, but not until tomorrow night. We'll have that forecast for you. One more wet one, and then the sun. Stay with us. This portion of tonight's weather has been brought to you by Julie Corporation. Call Julie before you dig. 
Attention contractors and homeowners, before you dig in Illinois, law requires you to check for any potential underground hazards. Protection from injuries and damaged utilities once met up to 16 phone calls. But now with Julie, one free call, two working days in advance is all it takes. Member utilities will mark their facilities to save you time and money and prevent injuries. Call Julie before you dig. Thank you for calling Julie. This is Robin. May I help you? All the information is free. Call one 800 My Ford F-150 has got to be tough, because if it doesn't work, I don't work. Look at the cargo bed. Double wall galvanized steel welded and bolted. Now, even though it's America's number one selling truck, it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Right now, you can save up to $1,300 on a loaded Ford F-150, America's best selling truck. See your local Ford dealer today. My Ford F-150, it's the most important tool I own. This portion of News 25 Nightside is brought to you by Snapper. Anything less just won't cut it. Snapper lawn tractors have lots of horses. A great choice of Snapper drive systems. Five different mowing widths. And some very useful Snapper accessories. All in any combination you like. Snapper lawn tractors. With all these choices, anything less just won't cut it. Showers and thunderstorms yet tonight likely. 60% likelihood, 58 degrees expected by morning. And we'll continue the same pattern tomorrow, but on only a 68 degree high, southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Showers may linger tomorrow evening, but then we will have clearing probably around midnight on toward morning. 53 degrees by Wednesday morning, a sunny day on Wednesday, high near 76 degrees. On Thursday, it'll jump up to 82 under sunny skies, but then Friday and Saturday, it looks as though back to the same pattern, although the temperatures will be in the mid-70s. Denise will have more for you on an update tomorrow morning. Now let's get back to Anna and Mac. Thanks, Uli. Lee Holland next with sports as the Bears say farewell to a veteran wide receiver. And in hockey tonight, the Blues in Toronto in the Norris Division Finals. They were tied just a few minutes ago in overtime. We'll have an update from Lee. Quality construction by Union Carpenters, an honest American value. Hire Union Carpenters, building America's future today. AT&T 800 service would like a word with you. The word is freedom. Soon, businesses forced to choose a less reliable 800 service because they wanted a certain 800 number and maybe losing sales as a result will have the freedom to keep their 800 number and switch to AT&T, the best in the business. One more thing. Switch to AT&T now and get 100 days of free calls. Seven two three eighty four eighty four. America's summer city. Don't miss it. You've heard all the promises. You've seen all the offers. And at SNK Chevrolet Geo, we think it's time to say enough is enough. All this month at SNK Chevrolet Geo, we will beat any advertised offer by any other Central Illinois dealer. Just bring in a copy of the ad, and we'll beat their offer. There just isn't any reason to run from dealership to dealership. Because all this month will beat any offer, plus offer you one of the largest selections of makes, models, and colors in all of Central Illinois. Stop by SK Chevrolet Geo today, and we'll always give you more. This is your moment to be beautiful. Beautiful from Estee Lauder. Now, for Mother's Day, a golden collection of four lipsticks, a golden swirl compact, a refillable atomizer, and a quilted bag. Worth $90, they're yours for just $27.50 with any Estee Lauder fragrance purchase. This special offer is now at Bergner's. 
showdown continues out there. Uh, yes, the alums of the Rivermen uh, showing off uh, pretty well for themselves tonight. Curtis Joseph showing off his strong back again tonight in Toronto. The former Rivermen goalie carrying the Blues in Game 1 just like he did in the Chicago series. 39 saves in regulation for Joseph. Kurt and the Blues force overtime in Toronto. The Maple Leafs get on the board early. Watch this dive by Peter Zezel. They called a penalty on that, if you can believe it. And the Maple Leafs take advantage. John Cullen skates through the crease, gets the puck off the skate, and scores. 1-0 Toronto. In the second, look at the help that uh, Kurt gets in the nets. And then it's the Blues on the breakaway. Nelson Emerson. He leaves it for Denny Felsner, who puts it right on the stick of Philippe Bozan for the score, 1-1. All three former Rivermen on that play. 53 saves for Curtis Joseph until this incident in overtime. He takes a skate to the face mask. It knocks his mask off. He came out of the game momentarily for Guy Bear, but he is back in there. They are tied 1-1 in overtime in Toronto. Other postseason action in the NBA playoffs. It's the Charlotte Hornets, a 20-point winner at home over, make that a 30-point winner at home over Boston. They take a 2-1 lead in that series, and the Pistons named Don Chaney as their new head coach today to take over in Detroit. It's Sunday, Monday, happy days at Vinokin Stadium. Peoria snaps a five-game losing streak tonight against the Appleton Foxes. Donnie Most, a.k.a. Ralph Mouth, working on those tips the Fonz gave him back in the 70s. Chiefs looking to score in the fifth, trailing Appleton 2-1 when Jack Johnson lines a shot to left. It's a ground rule double. Steve Walker scores tied at two. Fifth inning. Hey, Dan Madsen, the cool guy with the double to right. Johnson and Rafael Soto score a three-run fifth. Chiefs win it tonight 5-2. They visit the Quad Cities the next two nights. In the big leagues, only four ball games tonight. Oakland gets two two-run homers from Mark McGuire as they beat the Yankees 4-2. Cleveland over California 5-4. Seattle shuts out Boston 2-0, and it was Texas over the Brew Crew 9-2. The Bears' all-time return leader won't next season. Dennis Gentry says he's retiring after 11 seasons in the NFL. Gentry, the Bears' number one all-time kick returner, 4,300 yards for Gentry. He still measures himself equally with speedsters like Willie Galt, but the 34-year-old Gentry wants to walk away from the game while he still can walk. Yeah, I kind of like the way I'm going out. You know, it's, um, I've been fortunate, you know. I uh, got both my, my knees real healthy and, uh, uh, you know, no injuries that can cause me any effect in the near future, so it's been pretty good. I know what he stands for. I know everything that he's accomplished here in his 11th season with the Bears, and, uh, uh, from a uh, organization standpoint, and I think from a city standpoint, that uh, that, that everybody appreciates that, and uh, not just from the football standpoint, standpoint, but from what type of person he is and what he's done for the community. Gentry's former teammate Mike Singletary in Pekin tonight. He says he's surprised by today's announcement. I'm not real sure if it's it's a good decision. I I, I don't know if Dennis is saying, well, you know, uh, the Bears aren't going to offer me a contract or whatever, so I'm going to retire. I think Dennis uh, can still play good football. I think uh, Dennis still has enough quickness or whatever um, to be in the National Football League another year or two. Round one and two of the Missouri Valley Golf Tournament today at Peoria Country Club. Illinois State in first place after day one. ISU's Vicki Appleton second. Tina Lindsay of Mason City is fourth. No home course advantage for Bradley. The Lady Braves in fifth going into tomorrow's action. And finally, birthday wishes to our very own Doug Bisbee. Doug, here with a birthday wish for you, White Sox reliever Bobby Thigpen. Enjoy. Wow, thanks. Yeah. Well, my friend, happy birthday. This is Bobby Thigpen, and I just thought it would be nice for you to know how you've saved the day today. You see, birthdays are the most important days of our lives, and everyone who cares about us the most, our family, wow, our friends, our teachers, <laughs> always hope that we've been as good as we can be, so they can really mean it when they Bobby sing. Pen, huh? <laughs> and your teachers are very proud of you, by the way. Kind of a touching moment here. Uh, I have to, no, I have to let you know, though, that Doug was like a little kid on Christmas. He did peak. He did. He did peak. I was trying to help. <laughs> and how old are you now? I'm 25. Ah, congratulations. 25 at 25. That's I remember. What they I remember say. when I was 25 yeah. at 25. Yeah, we remember. Thanks to my friend Brian for that tape. I got that for my birthday, by the way. Do you remember, Rick? Yeah, well, I don't remember. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, we're going to tell you who won the boat. Stay with us.
I started shopping here the day it opened because the prices are lower than a lot of places and they're, they're lower all the time. The best bargain was my front yard. I've got trees and things like that. And they're beautiful, they're growing real big. I mean, I always go around telling everybody how much I spent on, on my shrubs. My whole front yard is, is Walmart plants. <laughs> and I thought I would always go to a nursery, but it's a good store, they, they serve the people. I like to come here. It's Sherman's for furniture. Furniture can add lots of enjoyment to your lifestyle. At Sherman's we do business different than all the other furniture stores. Our values are much better. We shop furniture manufacturers very carefully, selecting only those that offer the most competitive values. Then we aggressively price the outstanding selections. Shop and compare. But ask yourself, am I getting a Sherman's deal? The best for less. Get ready for the GE Best Buys available right now at Hamptons. Shop and you'll get the best selection and the best price on GE washers, on GE dishwashers, and on every size refrigerator. Plus the best buy on GE ranges. You'll save store-wide. For the best service, the best selection, and the best price, buy GE. And buy it now at Hamptons. The best for less. Every, every day. How are you going to control all the weeds this wet weather's caused? It'll take two or three tillage trips to control emerged weeds. This year, use Roundup herbicide, then till. Put Roundup in your tank mix with Bullet, Microtech, or Partner to knock out emerged weeds and get residual control in one fast pass. Roundups never cost less, so you can save money and get better control. It's not just for no-till. See your dealer now and add Roundup to your residual for a clean start and a clean finish. In the morning, showers and about 58 degrees, and we're going to stay wet tomorrow, it looks as though. Well, thanks, Huli. Finally tonight, Darren Gross is the proud owner of a brand new $7,000 boat. The Rome resident won the boat after keeping his hand on the boat for over 72 hours. Gross and other contestants braved lack of sleep and lack of food in an effort to win the boat. The contest sponsored by radio station WRRL is the uh, first of its kind in our area. When the 72 hours ended tonight at seven, of course, he was not the only person hanging on, so to speak. So they held a drawing and he was selected the winner out of the finalists. And uh, most of the contestants said they didn't mind holding the boat for all that time. However, we hear the next contest, they're going to have to hold the entire boat up over their head. And we'll see who. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that one works. That is definitely a hands-on experience. It certainly is. Yes. You know, I would have thought of uh, just kind of gluing it right there. Mm. I wouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Good night, all. No, we'll actually use 11 a hand, foot if uh, you're no, pulling. That's it for us. Good night. Good night, all. Good night. <laughs> Backyard.